Are you about to buy or build a computer? Well, there are five things you should consider before shopping for that next big investment. And I'm about to give you all the inside information you'll need before making that purchase right now. Hey everyone, I'm Danny, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna get right into this. I'm not gonna waste any time today. The very first thing that you should be considering when looking to either buy or build a PC is what do you want the computer for? Many people buy a PC for gaming. It's a lot of fun and there are tons of different game options out there. You might also wanna stream while gaming. Since the world pandemic, people have turned to watching people play games to learn tips and tricks, or they might just wanna interact with like-minded individuals. Basic web browsing might be all you need which doesn't require much hardware. You can go pick up a $299 computer over on Best Buy, like a laptop or a small desktop, and it'll get the job done in that price range. School or teleworking are kind of in an in-between category. If you wanna do stuff like Excel or PowerPoint, you're gonna need a better processor, like an i7 or a Ryzen 7, to be able to handle multiple tabs or multiple documents at the same time. If you're gonna be doing CAD or 3D rendering, a higher-end GPU would typically be used. Also, if you're gonna be doing any kind of virtual reality, that would need a higher end GPU as well. If video editing is your thing, lots and lots of RAM is what you want. I recently made a video with my CPU and GPU recommendations for some common use cases, which I can leave right up here, and you can go check it out after this video, of course. The second thing to consider is what resolution are you gonna be using? Just look at it this way, it's pretty simple. The bigger the screen you have, the better the resolution you're gonna to wanna to get. There are three major resolutions for PC displays, not counting the ultra wides or the off sizes. These are 1920 by 1080, which is full high definition or FHD, 2560 by 1440, which is quad high definition or QHD, sometimes called 2K, and 3840 by 2160, which is ultra high definition or UHD, also known as 4K. The numbers just mean the amount of pixels a screen can show horizontally or vertically. If you choose something like a 15 inch laptop, you'd be fine with a full HD display or 1080p as it's commonly called. Now, if you're gonna go with something say 25 inches or larger, you're gonna wanna get a better quality resolution display like a 1440p or 2K or a 4K. And if you're doing something like video editing where you need that high definition, go with 4K. Length of ownership should be your next thought. How long do you plan on keeping this computer? Most people wanna make a big purchase like a computer and have it last them for quite a few years. It's easy to spend upwards of $2,000 or more on a new computer. The best way to make your computer last into the future is go for the biggest hard drive that you can. Because files are getting larger and larger these days, games are taking up more space, videos that you download, I mean, everything is taking up storage these days. So if you get a small hard drive, you're going to run out of storage very quickly. Also, make sure it's an SSD or solid state drive. Without this, your computer will feel slow and sluggish. Yes, they still sell computers without these things. Now, this won't really apply if you have external hard drives or maybe you use some kind of cloud storage because then you'll obviously be saving your files onto those items instead of directly on the computer. But for my recommendation of future proofing, the biggest hard drive is the way to go. The other thing that I recommend is to get the most cores and threads that you can for your money because then you can run multiple programs at one time without your computer slowing down, or about six Chrome tabs at once. Upgradability is the fourth item on my list. Do you need to be able to upgrade your computer later? This applies to both laptops and desktops. For laptops, usually the only upgradable things are storage and sometimes RAM. There's a new company called Framework that decided to change the game by creating a fully upgradable laptop where the consumer can change or repair any of the parts themselves, including the screen. Desktops have many more options. Pre-built PCs from OEMs like Dell or HP usually don't allow you upgradability and I don't recommend them. I like Lenovo, Acer, or Asus. Custom built is just that. You pick the parts, you build the computer. This gives you full upgradability and customization options. It's easier than it sounds and Danny's Tech Channel can help you every step of the way. Price is the final thing to consider and may arguably be the most important topic. Set yourself a price before even shopping for a computer and stick with it. Buying or building a computer can easily get out of hand and cause you to overspend. A few brands I recommend if you're looking at buying a pre-built desktop are Lenovo, Acer, or Asus. They have good quality parts and provide the most PC for your dollar. 
But if you already made the decision that you wanna build your own PC, that's an even better choice. In fact, you can check out this video right here where I recommend all the good places to shop for PC parts or the other video that I plugged earlier in this video that's the best CPU and GPU combos currently on the market. And as I always say, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll see you in the next video.